Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we are back on the iPad and we're gonna be creating some lettering, but applying what's typically called an off shade shadow technique. I like calling it a floating shadow, but you basically have the shadow and you've got a space between the shadow and where your lettering is. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I recreate this using Procreate on the iPad. This is an iPad Pro. It's the 12.9 inch version and I'm working in Procreate and I've got my handy Apple Pencil right here so what we're gonna do is just create a new document and we're gonna replicate this exactly so I'm gonna create a new document just screen size okay so once you have your brand new document you basically just want to use a chunky style brush that tends to work best for this technique um, so what I did is I just adjusted the settings for my studio pen so it's more of a mono weight brush um, but use whatever brush you'd like that's totally fine and then I just want to make sure it's kind of a large size so I can see it really well and make a really good believable shadow out of of it and I up my opacity to max so it's nice and dark for my lettering so over here um, where your color is all you have to do is double tap down here and you'll get true black which is what we want um, I'll show you how I color things later on but for now just for demonstration purposes I'm gonna be using black and white so I'm just gonna write out my lettering on the very first layer right here Okay, so once you have your lettering, um, now we can start working on the shadow. So in order to keep everything straight, because we're working with three different layers, I'm just going to number the layers one, two, and three. That way it's easy to follow along and kind of keep track of what layers I'm tapping instead of just having them all different names or duplicates. So over on layer one, I'm just going to tap this and rename this so it says zero, one. And then what you're going to do is just duplicate this layer. So just slide it over and choose duplicate. And now you have an, a zero one on top and a zero one on the bottom. On the bottom one, you're going to change this so it says zero two. Okay, so on the zero two layer, make sure it's selected. And then you're just going to hit this little cursor up here so it's actually selected. And then you're just going to tap in this corner. And when you tap in the corner when it's selected, it will move in very small increments in that direction so I can kind of get a horizontal movement out of it. So I'm just going to keep tapping. And I'm going to tap quite a ways because this is going to end up being our shadow. I don't want any space to start showing right here. So if you go that far, go back a little bit. So you don't want any space showing, but you want it a pretty good distance from your original lettering. And once you're all set with that, then you can just hit this cursor again, and that's deselected. So the next thing you want to do is come back to your layers and choose the 01 layer again, and you're going to duplicate the 01 again. So slide it over and choose duplicate. And now you can see we've got 01, 01, and 02. For the middle one, you're going to rename this to 03 and hit OK. And next we're gonna select the 03 layer. So hit your cursor again, and you're gonna begin tapping, but you're not gonna go nearly as far as you went last time. If you can imagine how far you just went, you wanna kinda of go half that distance. So just start tapping until you feel comfortable, like you've gone enough, but you haven't gone too far. And this is going to kinda of remove that extra space that we want. And you're just gonna deselect right here, come back to your layers. You're going to, on the 03 layer, tap it and choose Select. Once it's selected, so you can kind of see these diagonal lines here, you're going to uncheck the visibility. So uncheck this, then tap on the 02 layer all the way down here at the bottom. Then you're going to choose your eraser. And I like using a hard brush eraser, and I max out my size and my opacity. That way I don't have to erase for forever. I can just drag it over, and you're just going to begin erasing. And when you erase, you get that nice perfectly spaced distance between your shadow and your lettering but now it just kind of looks like a stroke it doesn't really look like a believable shadow yet so in order to achieve that we're just going to deselect up here so just tap that to turn that off you're going to come back here and you can actually delete your 03 layer you don't need it anymore so just hit delete with your 02 layer selected you're just going to come over here where this kind of magic wand is and you're going to choose opacity and you're just going to reduce the opacity to kind of make it a lot lighter so it looks more like a shadow. And then once it's nice and light, you kind of want to add a little bit of blurriness so it is a little more believable. So just tap on this magic wand again and choose Gaussian Blur. And you're just going to up this until it looks believable but not too blurry. Like if you come all the way like this, it's going to ruin the effect. So you don't need to go too much. You just want enough 
where it looks like a shadow. So that feels pretty good. So from here, you're all set. If you wanna recolor things, the way that I typically do this and experiment with color is I'll come over here and I'll create a new layer, drag it all the way to the bottom so I can use it as my background color. And I will choose, I've got a mint color right here that I like to use. So I'm just gonna select it and then fill it with that mint green. And then for the lettering, um, I worked with a darker kind of forest green. So I will select the forest green right here, come back to the layer, select my zero one, and then I'll turn this zero one off, create a new layer, tap it and choose fill, and that'll fill it with the color that I want. So that's my typical process. I like experimenting with a lot of different colors and that's how I, that's what my process is. Everybody's process is different, but that's what I like to do. So that's how to create an off shade or a floating shadow effect in Procreate using an iPad Pro, an Apple Pencil, and Procreate. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe. I release a new design tutorial every single Tuesday. And don't forget to head on over to my blog, every-tuesday.com for even more design tutorials and a bunch of design freebies. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.